Hello and welcome to My Fusion Helper. My name is Troy Broussard, and this short video I'm going to show you how to use the Split It Basic Helper. Now, when we go through this, I'm going to show you how to set it up, first of all, inside of our application, and we'll go through that process. It's very straightforward and simple. And then I'm also going to show you how to deploy it inside of Infusionsoft. And in this particular video, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail than I normally do in that because I want to show you a few different samples of how you might use it in some different campaign examples examples so that you have a little bit more structure and guidance than uh, normal because split testing you know there's a lot of different ways that you could do it and so I just want to give you some ideas and then lastly we're going to come back and I'll go through and you know show you some best practices and give you some other ideas of where you might want to use it in your business now before I do all that though I want to give you a quick warning because of the way campaign builder works it's not recommended that you run this split test on large contact lists okay so if you have more than 10,000 contacts it's not recommended that you use this particular solution and the reason for that is that campaign builder runs one contact at a time it doesn't run in batch mode so if you have a large email list of 50,000 people and you drop them into a campaign that's going to result in 50,000 API calls and it's going to be something that will probably delay quite a bit the execution of the campaign and cause a lot of network churn okay now don't worry we do have some solutions for you for that first of all we do have an advanced split testing add-on which you can contact us at the help desk about and if you're interested in that reach out to us at help at myfusionsolutions.com on our help desk it is at a premium price point it's a very advanced split testing solution that allows you to send in batch mode to very large lists. So even if you have a quarter of a million people on your list, it will uh, generate only a couple of API calls and send that out immediately. So that is a solution. It is an option. But I'm also going to show you another way, and that is for you know, larger lists, let's say you've got, you know, 30,000 or 50,000 people on your list, then instead of running a 50-50 split test, which is considered an A-B split test, you can run what's called a 10-10-80 split test. Now, it really is still a 50-50 split test. It's just that we do the following. We divide your list into the first 20% of your list. And so let's say you have 50,000 people on your list. We're only going to look at 10,000 of those people first. Okay, now we're going to take that first 20% or that 10,000 and we're going to split that up and do an AB split test to 5,000 segments of that test, right? Now, when we get the results from that, we then send the remaining 80% to the winner. Okay, that's called a 10 10 80 split. And honestly, it's one of the best ways of doing A B split testing. And so, you know, you can still use this feature even if you have a larger size list just by running a 10 10 80 split. And uh, once again, all you would do is just start with a 20% subset of your list and run a split test on that, pick the winner, and then send the 80% of your list to the winner. Okay, so that's another kind of approach that you can use. All right, so let's jump in and take a look at how to set this all up. Okay, first and foremost, let's go in here and create a new helper. So we'll go in here and type in the split test and we'll do split test demo and we'll go ahead and configure it. Now, this is a very simple thing to configure. There's not a lot of options here. The biggest choice you have to make is whether you want to do a split test with tags or whether you want to do a split test with goals. And it really doesn't matter. You can do it either way. I'm going to do it with goals. It's my preference to do goals because I, I don't like just creating tags when I don't necessarily need them. Uh, they tend to slow down the application. And so whenever possible, I use goals. And you'll continue to see this, this thread of uh, education in all of our videos. The, the likelihood is that we'll use goals most of the time. But we know that most people are comfortable with tags, so we put the support in there. So you can either pick two split tags or two split goals. So I'm just going to create a goal and I'm going to call it split path A and split path B. Okay, so now all we need to do is go ahead and create the helper. So I'll click the button there to do that. 
and this will now have our link ready to copy and paste in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that, and then I'm gonna switch into Infusionsoft to show you how this works. Now, before I get into that, um, we're going to spend a little time just talking about some of the stuff with this. And when you set up a split test, you know, this is kind of a common scenario. Somebody opts in, you send them to a four email series, you know, promotion, and then you have a purchase goal at the end. Now, when you look at this and you think about what kind of things could you split test, and I've kind of written them down here for you. And this is not obviously an exhaustive list, but it's the main things. And honestly, it's a lot of times in kind of the orders that you want to look at. Like a lot of people jump in and start split testing email content right away. And one of the first things you really want to split test is price points before you do that, because they have the biggest impact and the yield on the outcome of your funnel. So those are some of the things to consider. Another thing that can have a big impact and it's easy to do do is split testing email subjects. If you had all of these emails written and ready to go, then you could really easy just click and drag the whole thing down here and come in and change the subject on these four emails. And in 10 minutes, you could have a complete split test ready to go testing out the same content of the email, but just different uh, subjects to, to adjust your open rates and see how that works. So, you know, take this and take the approach that's going to give you the most in results. So like, let's take a look at a couple of different options here. So here's an example of what we could do with a split test. We could come in, we have an opt-in, we could create the split test, and I'll show you how that's going to work using the goals that we set up. And then we could have four emails here going to a purchase at 97. And then we could have the same emails going to a purchase at 127. And we could test to see how our conversions work at this price point. Okay, this would be one type of split test that you could execute. Now to show you how to do that, we already copied the URL. So we would come in here and we would add in a API post method here. Okay, so we come in and we paste that link in here. So we paste the link in, set it ready, and come back, and set that ready, and then that would be in here ready to go. Now, it's gonna create two goals. Now remember, we did our goals here, we had split path A and split path B, so we would put in my Fusion Helper, split path A for our a split test, and here we would do split path B. My Fusion Helper is always going to be the integration name. Okay, and split path B. Now, what is going to happen is that when this executes, it's going to execute that API call, and then depending on which goal it sets, okay, it's going to send them down one of two paths. And now you have your contacts split up into two separate paths. Okay, that's how this works. So you're naming your split test goals and you can do it that way. Now you could also do it with tags. So it's no different. It's just that, you know, instead of an API call here, you would have the, you know, applies a tag and have and have a tag goal set. So either way you want to do it, it's totally up to you. We tend to prefer using API calls, but you're absolutely welcome to use tags as well. And then you would have a split test set up this way. Now let's take a look at kind of another example here. So let's kind to scroll down here and show you a different type of an approach and you know this is again it just depends on what you want to split test and this particular split test we're dividing up the list we're splitting it a and b we're sending them through the same um, emails and we want to see you know which one fills out the the application and so maybe we want to test our open rates on these emails and so here we've got you know four different emails here and the same or different emails with different subjects that we want to do an open rate comparison on okay and that's a way that we could do it there now if we wanted to split test two different webinar registration forms we could simply do this and make a copy of that and let's say now we had two different lead pages that we were sending traffic to to register for a webinar this could be lead page a and this could be lead page b and we could test that okay so it's really unlimited how you want to do it all we're really doing is calling an api call here to create a division and to automatically divide the traffic and send them to two separate paths and how you want to use that to your benefit is really up to you so again here 
here are some of the things that you could be testing. Price points, subject lines, uh, different order forms on the checkout process, checking, you know, testing different upsells. And, you know, you don't even have to test different price points. You might be testing entirely different products. You might have two different product versions um, that you're testing or two different offers that you're competing against one each other to see which one works. So there's lots of different options here that you can go, but that's how you would set it all up. All right, so let's jump back into the training and wrap things up. All right, so hopefully that gave you a few examples of things that you could do. And just to summarize, we talked about testing product price points or product A versus product B. We talked about, you know, testing email subjects and email content and sales pages. You know, that's one thing we didn't mention is sales pages, and that could be very, very useful. So maybe you want to send them the exact same thing, but just a different link that goes to a different sales page. And one of them you have a video sales letter, and the other you have perhaps a just a traditional copy written letter and see which converts better. Again, that's another possibility for a, sp a split test. And you know, testing your upsells can also be uh, another way that you can test which path is going to work best for you. Now, I really want to encourage you to start big and then go small. And what I mean by that is a lot of times people split test the minutia. They split test the little things like colors on the page and, and silly stuff like that. And you know, that is not going to have much of an impact. What you really want to do is start big. Split test against big variations. Split test a VSL versus a copy. Uh, letter for sales pages. That's a big difference to know whether your audience is going to resonate more with video or a copy written letter. That's a big difference, right? Split test things that are dramatic. Split test price points. Split plus. Split test your offer. Um, split test the bonuses. But stay away from the little stuff, okay? Because that will just waste a lot of time and probably not yield much as an end result. Another thing to keep in mind is, you know, consider using the 10, 10, 80 approach that we talked at the beginning. You take 20% of your list and you run an AB split test here, then you find the winner, and then you send the remaining 80% of your traffic to the winner. That is a system that works very well. It's super easy to do, and you don't need anything more than this split uh, basic that we have in the app for you. All right, so this is Troy Broussard signing off. I hope that gave you some good ideas and gets you rolling with some split testing in your business. And if you need more help, reach out on the help desk at help at myfusionsolutions.com.